Boom. <clears throat> All right, guys, here we go on another episode of the Stillwater Fly Tying Series. Uh, today, we are going to tie the pregnant shrimp. Um, not a hard pattern, but one super deadly pattern. Uh, and quickly, like most of my videos, I like to talk about how I fish this pattern um, on the local still waters. Uh, this pattern, I don't honestly fish a whole lot. It's kind of just a pattern I like to keep in the box for those days that things feel like nothing's going right and uh, I just need something to happen. Uh, this pattern I like to fish uh, either on a intermediate line and most intermediate lines are about half an inch to an inch and a half maybe. Um, and I like to fish that with a short leader, maybe five feet at most. Um, if the fish are really spooky, I'll fish it with a bit longer of a leader, but yeah. Uh, or I'll fish one with a bead under an indicator. And again, just in the shallows, usually I'll fish them uh, early in the spring or late in the fall when, when fish aren't keyed in on any specific crony hatch or, or maybe boobies or blobs aren't working well or leeches aren't really doing the ticket. These can really be a day saver and uh, mostly for the retrieves. If you're fishing it uh, on an intermediate line, the retrieves are slow, nothing fast. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's tie one up. All right, so for the hook today, we're gonna use the Hannock H360BL. I'm just gonna quickly pop one out here, show you guys what it looks like. Put it in the vise there. So you can see that it has the straight eye, kind of like an egg hook, but it still has that curved back that gives it that cool scud kind of pupa appearance. I really like that hook for that reason. Um, today we're gonna tie with a UTC gray brown and a 70. We're gonna start the thread. Locking it down. And then bring the thread wraps down the shank of the hook there. All the way about halfway down the bend. I'm gonna bring it back up. And we are going to tie in a strand of extra small silver wire. This is gonna make that segmentation on that scud back that we're gonna tie in in a second here. All right, so grab that and then tie that down, bringing it all the way back down halfway the shank of the hook there. Now we're gonna tie in a strand of 1 8 inch clear scud back. All right, and for the body material, we're gonna use a olive, pale olive scud dub. The nice part about this stuff, it's gonna give it some good legs, good little leggy motion. It's about half an inch long, quite a bit shorter than typical Arizona semi-seal. So I'm just gonna actually twist that onto the thread. Just like that. Oh, I'll put a little bit more on there. And I'm gonna go about halfway up the shank of the hook there. And the reason for that is that it's a pregnant shrimp and so we're gonna add a hot spot about halfway up there. Rocking up. All right, it's about halfway. Grab, I've got a little bit of orange Arizona semi seal. Again, I'm just gonna twist it onto the thread there. If you got dubbing wax, that might work as well. But I just like using my fingers. All right, that's that little orange hot spot. 
throw a little bit more dubbing on there. Twist it on. Keep it simple. All right, and then now that we're at the front, we're gonna lay that scud back over top. Don't pull it too tight, just gently apply tension. And we're gonna lock that down two or three good wraps. Grab your scissors, cut it close. Give it a couple more good wraps just for safe, safe measures. I like to throw a little whip finish just to lock her in there. Just like that. All right, we're gonna grab our silver wire there and we're gonna do four or five turns up the shank of the hook kind of creating a segmentation with the body there and that helps just lock down the the scud back in case you've hooked a few fish and things are starting to fall apart it's just an extra saver there Alright, so that's off. Give it another good little whip finish. Make sure she's tight. Cut your thread off. Alright. Grab that little dubbing brush here. Here's my toothbrush for an affordable dubbing brush. And I'm just going to brush the bottom of the fly, kind of pulling some of the fibers out, giving it that those legs that that those freshwater scuds have. All right, see some of the legs coming out of the bottom there. <clears throat> cool. And here's the last step. We're going to use some thin solar res. And we're just going to gently apply a layer to the back of it here. Use my left hand. Try not to get any on the dubbing, just the scud back. It'll kind of turn the, the pale olive into a dark spot, kind of ruining the fly a little bit. So try to keep it off that, just on the scud back. And this will give it kind of a, a translucent shell like those freshwater scuds have. All right, and then I just got a UV light here. We'll hit it for a second. Only takes two or three seconds just to cure it. Boom, just like that. All right, and there you have it. The pregnant shrimp. All right, guys, I hope you like this video, and I hope it lands in your stillwater fly box and catches you a couple fish. Thanks for watching.